This video lesson is all about sections. Before I talk in detail about sections, I want to point out the status bar. This is an area that many people forget to look at when they're working with Microsoft Word. It tells us what page number we're on, what section number we're on, how many pages there are, page one of six, and the exact position of the cursor. It's at 5 centimetres on line 4, column 11, which is there. You can see how those numbers change. If I scroll down the document, you'll see that it jumps to page 3, section 1, page 3 of 6. Page 4, section 1, page 4 of 6. So you can see, we've got a document with six pages in it, but only one section. So what is a section? Well, a section is an area of the document that can have its own page set up. So, for example, you might have the first section with your page set up as portrait, and the second section might have your page set up as landscape. And you can use all the other page setup features as well, such as margins. So how does it work? Well, you've probably already used the feature. Let me find a suitable place in the document. Okay, here, services and historic pubs. I want this to be in a section by itself. So I'm going to do choose insert and break. I said you've probably used it before and you will have for, to insert a page break. A page break is the default type. You've probably also used column breaks. The bit that we're interested in though is the section breaks. You can see there's a, a range of different options. To keep things nice and simple to show the effect of this, I'm going to insert a next page section break and click on OK. You can see that the document has jumped down to the beginning of the next page. So how is this different to just inserting a page break? Well, let's have a look. You can see now when I'm I've clicked on this page, page 5, it now says section 2, and if I click on page 4, it says section 1. So you need to click on the section that you want to work with, section 2, and let's change the page setup. Keep it nice and simple, we'll just make it landscape and OK. You can see that particular page, I'll just zoom out a little bit further. That particular page is landscape, or that section is landscape. The previous sections are portrait. Landscape. Section 2, landscape. Section 2. Section 1, portrait. Section 1. The section continues until you tell it to otherwise. So all the pages after where I inserted the section break are all landscape. So I'm going to revert things back and put one of these pages back to portrait. So I'll zoom in a little bit further to make it easy to see where we're at. OK, rainfall is currently in section two. I'm going to insert a section break. Again, next page to keep it simple and OK. I've still got section 3 now, and on section 3, I'm going to change the setup back to portrait. Remember, we can change all the margins. And if I zoom out again, you'll see section 1, portrait, section 2, landscape and it's just one page and the rest of the document has reverted back to portrait.
I'm going to insert one more section break. And that's for the last page for this rainfall table here. So I'm going to insert another section break. And you can see it's jumped down onto the next page. And on this page, sorry, on this section, now section four, I'm going to use one of the other features. I'm going to use a layout feature and I want to vertically align my section to the center of the page. And I'm going to apply that to just this section. And also do it from this point forward as a whole document, but I'm going to do just this section and then OK. Let's zoom out and see if we can see the effect of that. The last section, section four, the information on that page is now centered vertically rather than starting at the top of the page. Zoom back in a little bit. One more thing I want to show you. Switch on the show hide. And you can see in your document where those section breaks are. Zoom in a little bit more to make that easier to see. There's a section break. If you want to, between section one and section two, if you want to remove that section to merge the sections, then you can simply position your cursor key and use a delete key, and that section break disappears. So that section breaks a really powerful tool that will enable you to set up different page layouts within a document. Experiment with all the different types.